Unlimited, Accessible Recruitment, Audio Described Version. Joe Verrant, Senior Producer on Unlimited, intercut with short video clips and images of performances, artists, and previous Unlimited trainees. Hi, my name's Joe Verrant, and I'm Senior Producer for Unlimited. We're a commissions programme that commissions disabled artists to make exceptional work. This is part of a series of films, and this one's about accessible recruitment. Since we've been running Unlimited, we've learned lots about accessible recruitment, but we also want to tell you why it's important. We know that disabled people are given more part-time contracts, they're often paid less, and their terms and working conditions often vary too. That can't be right. We've all got to work together to make a change. This video is going to give you loads of hints and tips, ways that you can improve your recruitment processes. I've managed to grab a couple of our trainees, Sunny and James, and we're going to talk about accessible recruitment. How can we really reach out, or how can anybody really reach out to where disabled people might be? James Greenholge, Unlimited Trainee. Maybe if you go into a specific community like deaf centres or social organisations where disabled people meet up. Absolutely. Disability arts companies, so deaf theatre companies or disabled organisations working in the arts. And also we've tapped into colleges and um, universities. I think you have to do something rather than just shove an advert out there and hope that disabled people are going to apply. Mm. James Zatka Haas, previous Unlimited trainee, intercut with shots from the Unlimited team at work. There's an awkwardness of talking about disability when you don't come from the same perspective as someone. You need to create a space where you can discuss disability free of judgement. I think letting people know that you have a basis and an understanding of the social model is very important and that you encourage applicants not only to tick a box, but also because you actively want a diverse workforce, which is something very different. The greater range of people you have in employment allows for a greater understanding of what work is and, and, and how we can work. And all that makes going to work a lot more fun, I think. Sunny and Wachiku, previous Unlimited trainee, in conversation with Joe Verrant and James Greenhalge, intercut with shots of the Unlimited team, an Unlimited selection panel and a training session. Something that I love about Unlimited is that um, they actually like encourage this disabled people to apply. So actually having something that says disabled people welcome yeah. or ring fenced opportunity just for disabled people mm. really made a difference. Mm. Maybe if you offer different um, application formats, you could, you could send in a video, if, especially if you're a BSR user. We've had People do audio before. Some people with dyslexia or people who are worried about how they might come across in writing mm. just want to shoot a video of yeah. them talking and use that. So being really flexible about formats helps yeah. too. Kind of content and pr I think access to work is essential for disabled people in work and not enough disabled people know it even exists. Mm. All of that for us is about meeting people's needs. Um, otherwise you're not getting the best out of the person. Some people who are disabled who don't actually know who the access requirements are, and that's um, something I've uh, learnt in the past year, and um, that is um, something that's actually really helped me as well, especially with my confidence as well. From an employer's point of view, you need to be asking all the time, you know, have you got any access requirements, can we meet those, whatever. But also, from an individual point of view, you've got to say as well, and that sometimes can be a bit tricky. Mm. Does it make a difference when you go in to an interview situation and there are disabled people sitting on those panels? It's really encouraging seeing disabled people actually in those more senior positions and organisations, and um, they did really mostly you. Yeah, there aren't enough disabled role models mm. out there in the arts, but we have to find them and link them yeah. to, I think, that next generation mm. so that people have that support. I think the most important thing is for questions to be asked uh, candidly and openly and not a sense of embarrassment about them. 
to speak to other people who have lived experiences of something and the knowledge that there is a community and a network out there that you can go to for support. A lot of companies need to be open to changing things in their workplace. If you don't actively try and promote applicants from a diverse range of backgrounds, you're missing out on what could be a really interesting, varied and competent workforce. Unlimited has supported 11 disabled paid trainee roles since 2013, providing valuable skills and experience for disabled people entering the creative industries. Unlimited. Telephone Shape Art 020 7424 7330. Telephone Arts Admin 020 7247 5102. Email info at weareunlimited.org.uk. Twitter at we are UNLTD. We are unlimited.org.uk. This film features a mix of unlimited staff, allies, artists, and others, including unlimited trainees Rosie Holden, Ollie Longhurst, Becky Dunn, Sonny and Wachiku, Emily Crow, James Greenhalge, James Zutka Haas, and Simon Overington Hickford. International producer placements Sockney On, Fred Batal, Nolan Stevens and Sandy Yi. Artists Tom Wentworth, Ariel Fung, Billy Reed, Rinku Barpega and Felix Pickett. Filmed at Arts Admin, Shape Art, The Roundhouse, Southbank Centre London, Darts Doncaster and Out of the Blue, Forest Fringe, Edinburgh. Artworks shown include The Nature of Why by the British Power Orchestra, The Dinner Party Revisited by Catherine Arignello and We Are Fucked by Joe Bannon. Funded by Spirit of 2012.